Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Aquarius. Alright guys, I am having a discounted reading of $30 right now. The reason for that is I'm trying to raise funds to help people in my community get the basic necessities like food. I do have a GoFundMe link in the description box if you guys want to donate to it. Alright, so if you guys want to get a reading done, you could do that. Alright, any support I get from these ventures, I will appreciate very much. Alright, so you're about to receive fast communication. It will be positive communication of someone wanting to come back around to you. It will be a new beginning this time. <coughs> so this person has finally changed their perspective on life, on relationships and on you. It was divinely orchestrated, so don't be afraid. So somebody is definitely coming back around to you. Could be a Sagittarius to some of you, but there was some healing and balancing off happening. This person will actually tell you they may have gone through a spiritual awakening or is currently doing so. Could be a Libra or a Taurus to some of you, but this person is finally getting themselves right. They are finally seeing their worth, seeing their value. They are not quite there yet. But they are trying to look for healing and restoration to people that they may have done wrong. Yeah. They want commitment now. They want long-term success. They want to build. They want to grow. But you have to decide. The decision is yours at the end of the day. Right? You could choose to keep them in mind, hold them in your heart and keep yourself back. Or you can listen to what it is they have to say and give them a second chance. You would know if this person has changed. You will know by the way they speak to you what is their true intentions. But what this person wants is actual commitment. Long-term commitment, long-term success family life, that sort of stuff. Yeah. They know they treated you poorly in the past and they're hoping that you will forgive them. They may have ghosted you, they may have lied to you. For some of you, <coughs> this person still owes you money. That wouldn't be for everybody, but for at least a few of you out there. Yeah. You're not going to see everything right away because it's not time yet. But it is time for this person to start to communicate with you. It will be enjoyable conversations once you give it a chance. But I'm not sure that this person or you are ready to accept this person's offer of love. Because you still, you still feel the stench of that hurt and that pain. It still stings your heart. That ending with this person. And you kept it a secret or you tried to hide how you truly feel. Trust your intuition on this one. This person has actually gone through the ringer and is definitely changing their ways. So focus on dealing on, with yourself but also... Focus on letting go of the past. 
let go of what no longer serves you. For some of you, you're finally going to get clarity from this person that you didn't get the first time around. Some of you are going to choose to walk away. Some of you are going to choose to walk towards this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They know you broke, they broke your dream of a happy home, happy life, happy wife situation. And they want to atone for it because they see you now as their wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that they can build with, they can grow with. So they are not realizing your words, your value. They are not realizing that you are their person and they're ready to open up to you. So some of you will be definitely getting an apology from this person. For others of you, you're going to walk away from this person because you do not believe anything they're going to be saying. Yeah, there was an ending here, a painful one. But that ending needed to happen for transformation to take place in this individual. They lied to you, they ran around, they deceived you. I get that. Hmm. You have to find the strength and the courage to forgive this person or to move on from them. But you are now going to get the clarity that you seek. Right? For some of you, you are going to choose a coming together with this person. You might actually meet this person at some type of function. Could be an actual party. But you still see this person as someone controlling, manipulative, narcissistic, lying, deceiving, manipulating. That is the way you still see this person. So for some of you, no matter what this person says to you, you're not going to believe them. Yeah. You're going to decide to walk away, to let go. Yeah. But luck is on your side. So whatever you decide, it will work out for you. So for those of you that will decide... To give this person a second chance, it will work out for you. For those of you who decide that walking away is the best option, not reconciling with this person, that will also be the best thing for you. Because this person emotionally manipulated some of you. And you're not going to believe this person did any healing at all. What you're going to believe is that this person have found a new way to manipulate you. For some of you could be a Libra or an Aquarius you're dealing with. But some of you are definitely going to cut this person out. Again, even after they give you the closure that you are looking for, you are going to choose to walk away. Because you are going to feel like this person is no longer for you. You've grown, you've evolved, and this person is definitely not for you. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but somebody here is finally letting go of toxic behaviors. For others of you, this person just wants you to forget the past and give them a second chance. But you regret doing that before because you may have given this person a second chance before. And this would actually be their third chance and you're not willing to sacrifice that. They would have a lot of regrets on their end because of the things they did to you and what it is they said to you and how they treated you. But it is time to let go of the past. Let go of what didn't serve you. But this person is coming back around as some type of lesson brought to you by the divine. You will have victory, like I said. Any which way you choose to go, you will have the success that you want. So for those of you that will choose to go back towards this person, you will get a reciprocated effort from them this time. No more addictions, no more procrastinations, no more lying. They're going to come towards you straight and direct. So some of you will be moving on from this. Some of you will be moving towards this person. Taking that risk, taking that leap, but being unsure of an actual relationship or connection with them. But you will be waiting for the message to come in. You're not going to message them first and you may put up a bit of a resistance to them in the beginning. All right? So let's see what is happening here. Spirit advice for my Aquariuses in this specific connection. Advice for my Aquariuses in this specific connection. Mm -hmm. 
seedling, seedling delight, laying foundation, divine plant. So this person coming back around is to teach some of you lessons. It's to reconcile with some of you. Take a break. Your life's work. Not a season. Get off the treadmill. Stop doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Say yes to yourself. Say yes to self-love. Say yes to loving you. Divine orchestration. So if you need help as regards to what direction to take this relationship or what to do or concerning this, it is time you start to speak to your guides and your angels. Let them give you signs and synchronicities as to what to do as regards to this person. They are there to help you and they will. All right. So I will stress again about the donations to my GoFundMe or if you guys would like to purchase readings. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.